So far this morning, I have gotten my goats milked and made some scones out of pancake mix. Um, they have come out quite well. I think I will do another episode just about what to do with pre-made pancake mix because these came out pretty spectacularly. So I came across a little snafu in my day. <laughs> I had these eggs stored in these handy dandy doohickeys from Amazon. I really like them, but we've been washing them and putting them in there. Well, I guess they weren't dry when they were in there, so I opened up those today and all the eggs were moldy. Oh my gosh. So I uh, rinsed them off again and I'm going to hurry up and use these. Tonight's dinner was going to be hot dogs. Uh, don't mind the dog. She's trying to get in the trash. Ain't that grand? And, um, we're going to have quiche tonight instead. <laughs> and now the schnickies tomorrow for breakfast, I think. Because, uh, wow, that's a lot of eggs that I need to use up immediately. My orange vinegar for cleaner, um, is finally done. It's been a little over two months. Put it in the spray bottle. There was a little bit left from before going to add water and then I give that to my kids to clean with. It's safe but effective so it's the way to go. Since I had seen a hummingbird at the window trying to get to our purple grow lights, I guess they're more like a pink. Uh, what would you say? Pink? Purple? Whatever. Anyway, the hummingbird was very intrigued by them. So I decided to go ahead and fill up our hummingbird feeder that Matt's aunt had, give, aunt had given the kids. Um, all I did was use three cups of water to three quarters cup of sugar. And there you go. If you're wondering why I look like I got in a fight and lost, I did with a bag of, actually two bags of onions they ganged up on me. I, uh... Chop, or well, I didn't really chop them. I uh, peeled them and put them in my handy dandy food processor, and they are now in my dehydrator. So that's something else done. Oh, I hate onions. I took a time out from cleaning to make dinner. I did not make a quiche. I decided just to go ahead and do a quick breakfast burritos. These are the remnants of the innards. I used uh, that can of pork sausage that I showed you guys, that, or pork ground pork that I needed to use. And I put that in there, and then they had cheese in them, and Matt's had the meat, plus um, there was a little tiny piece of um, beef rib in the refrigerator, so I sliced that up and put that in his. And now we're going to go milk the goat. And since I saw the goat run across the backyard, I'm going to have a little fun catching her. Well, in excellent news, Suki is excited to get milk because she wants a grain. So all I had to do is rattle the milk bucket. Come on, Suki. Okay, now she's going to make a liar out of me. Come on, Suki, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go to where we milk. Do you have to stop and itch every three seconds? Come on. She's like, what? Come on, Suki, let's go. Go, go. Come on. So she's got to stop to take a pee. It's like my kids. That was Parisley close to my sneaker. Come on, Suki. Parisley close to my sneaker. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Yeah, go. Yeah. Oh, Suki doesn't want any competition for her grain. Gotta stop and take a snack break. Come on, Suki. And another snack break, maybe. Yeah, she's gonna eat a little holly. Come on, Suki. Keep walking. It's like trying to get the kids in the car. Across the bridge the kids made. Oh, no, she's just gonna half step on it. And now, that's our new riding lawnmower that Matt's dad gave us, which is pretty awesome. And now I'm going to milk the goat, I guess, you know, in another 10 minutes when she makes it all the way to that door over there. I'm being stalked by the chickens. Ooh, 
These are the breast chicks that we got back in January. Aren't they big and beautiful? Um, they should be laying and ready for butcher. You hear that, you big old rooster? Um, next month. No, wait. No. Not next month. Beginning of June, I think. Dang. That one just pulled the other one's feathers out. Yeah, we got too many roosters. Some of y'all are going in a pot. <laughs> Never dull moment. Here's Susie who got out because my one of my boys was being a Shvinyak uh, which means sloppy pig in Polish. I adopted Polish when I uh, married my husband. So, you know, got her a little spice in there. But anyway, I got to catch his goat. She is not going to go quietly into that night. I forget the rest of the Dylan line. Sorry. Anyway, here we go. Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Oh, there she goes. Oh, Lord. We'll try again. Maybe we'll just walk her back. Come on, Susie. Oh, she's like, nope. She's smarter than me, I think. There she goes. She's trying to get some of that ivy. They love that English ivy. Oh, man. Could have had her. Maybe if we go low. She's like, what? You think I'm a dummy? Oh, no. She's going to get away. Going to get away. Oh, there she goes. All right, I can't do this one-handed. Take some finesse. Got strike like a snake. Anyway, I promise I'll get her in there. Apparently, the super secret way to catch a goat is put out chicken feed. Got her. <laughs> got you. Saga continues once I got while I was getting Susie in. Valentine escaped. Got you. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, Bear had to climb up there and help me catch some naughty chickens that were out. And they wanted to get back in. I tell you, it's a never ending. It is after 9 o'clock. It's actually after 9.30. Um, I finally got all of the children to bed. And I um, am boiling some deer bratwurst for Matt's lunch tomorrow. It is 9.50 now. I was going to stay up to try and finish the kitchen. Um, but as I was putting away the dishes, I yawned enough to nearly split my head open. You know, like those flip top head commercials from the 90s. I forget which toothbrush company. But anyway, I'm rambling because I'm tired. So anyway, um, I had wanted to finish doing the dishes and scrub the floor uh, but I'm done <laughs> I'm tapping out um, the kitchen floor will just have to wait till tomorrow so we're gonna set this we're gonna set my little clock here so it'll be ready when I wake up in the morning let's be optimistic and say I'm all Get down here by six. And there we go. And if this kind of thing is of interest to you, uh, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.